Page, you just throw to the outside shoulder. I've been watching, I've been watching uh, Phil Ng and Terry Williams for Lehigh. They've been going at it on these running plays, butting heads, and uh, I think they're going to have a great battle all day. You notice, Shell, Lehigh up again on the line of scrimmage. This is Blitz. Bauer moves the team from the 12. Here Back comes the strong again. safety. Takes two steps up, throws up, five, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Lafayette. Maurice Caldwell on the pass completion to make it a 7-6 ball game. Well, and this is a big-time play by Frank Bauer. He sees Peter Zerbinski, the strong safety blitzing. He just steps up in the pocket to give himself some extra time and time enough to hit Maurice Caldwell on the crossing pattern against the man-to-man -man coverage, and Lafayette's on the board. 60 yards on that one. We're off to a day at the... Welkin and Craig Smith, a titanic defensive battle here in the first <laughs> quarter of football. 14 to 7. Kick coming up the field. The ball taken by Caldwell at the 25. He's at the 30. 35. He may break at the 40 and finally gets out to about the 41-yard line. And so Lafayette, even on the kickoff, has brought the ball out in a good field position. And a saving tackle that time by number 84, Tom Hydro, the linebacker for Lehigh. Well, Round three just ended. Here comes Frank Bauer out for round four, guys. Then scoring drives, 91, 60, and 74. We have over 200 <laughs> yards of all. 28-21. Lehigh out in front of Lafayette. Bird. Upfield. Caldwell at the 15, 20, 25. Across the 30, gets out around the 33-yard line. Lehigh is leading in the game by a touchdown only because they've had their hands on the ball one more time, I guess. Back in a moment. Hang on. Field in eastern Pennsylvania. This joint has been jumping for the first half. What you are looking at are 59 points on the board already. We still have six and a half minutes to play. Lehigh leading 35 to 24 as Eric Bird prepares to tee it off. We've had basketball games with fewer points scored in the first half. Upfield now comes Maurice Caldwell. 30, 35. Finally stopped at about the 38, and a flag fell down. And we have a penalty coming just before that play ended at the 37-yard line. Tom Keir that time on the stop for Lehigh. I would guess this is going to go against Lafayette. It is a clip. If you're trying to keep up with these statistics, and Craig Smith has been trying to do it. Okay, here's Jim Harris. 21 out of 24, 327 yards. 327 yards, and we're in the second quarter. We have you see Kier, number 16, coming in for this. And that was the clip right there, right in front of the ball carrier. Those are great stats, though, by Jim Harris. That's a game. That's a game and a half. He's had over 300 yards in every game he's played since the injury to Mark McGowan. Lafayette's ball in their own 22-yard line. Trailing in the game, 35 to 24. His Bauer looking to throw, steps up into the pocket, throws a marvelous completion to Maurice Caldwell across the 40-yard line, right on the numbers. You know, what's amazing about Ng and Caldwell is, and, and here you see Caldwell, he's going to go down on Terry Williams across the middle. Ng's run a deep post pattern behind him. Ball's a little up, good concentration, a hard hit. Good tackle by Terry Williams, but we'll get to it in a second. Three. Ng caught four in the first half for 85 yards, including a 59-yard pass, and he was the recipient of two touchdown tosses by Frank Bauer is to Costello, rolling right, looking, throwing, completion to Caldwell. He's into Lehigh territory at the 45-yard line. This Penalty was a flag down, maybe a late hit. Very well-conceived play by Lafayette. The fake toss sweep. Here you're going to see it to Bowers left. He's going to slightly roll to his right. Ng and Caldwell are working in tandem out here. That time Ng ran the out pattern. Caldwell the hook pattern. Wise with a third and seven. Pretty tough conversion. Now Lafayette's faced with a third and ten, which are difficult to convert. So it does help the stats. It goes for about a two-yard completion. Actually, a loss on the play. So we're back where we started. Third and ten. Lafayette's ball at their own 42. Four wide receivers. Is Bauer. 
Back up in the pocket again. Looks, throws, completes at the 45, but it will be short of the first down by plenty. And so the Leopards will be forced to punt it away. Okay. Well, Craig, yeah. you mentioned four wide receivers. Lehigh went to a double down here because I'd say that, uh, you know, it makes the field goal a lot tougher also. Harris did a good job when he was faced with a couple of first and 20s in getting just a part of it back. Good point. Let's see what Lafayette does on first down. See if they chip away at it. I would expect something on the ground. Bowers fakes to Costello. Looks end zone. Throws. Ng has it at the four-yard line. That's Maurice Caldwell. And, and that will be the last play of the period. And a honey it was going to Ng. Let's look at it. It's Maurice Caldwell, Check number two. Maurice Caldwell is right. Is Maurice. Swam. And he's got it right between everybody. Stop made at the last moment by Greg Wolfson, who saved a couple. Third period history. Lee looking to make it seven in a row. The Leopards looking to win for the 66th time in a series in which 123 games have played previously. Bauer looking. Escapes the pocket. Now being chased. Throws complete to Maurice Cole like Bauer was going to be trapped way back on the 35 and there was very little room for Caldwell to maneuver to get that ball. Well, you're going to see number 60, Sean Chirito for Lehigh giving chase to Bauer. And here again, Bauer at 6'5", running out of the pocket, buying himself some time. That's a real football play. And on the dead run, he's putting this ball right on Caldwell's numbers. 